again, internet. This is Olin from what I'm listening to. So, uh, the sun has been out lately, and that has been putting me in a weird mood to listen to some country music. As I've said in past vlogs, I am not the biggest fan of country music, but there are definitely some exceptions. I like the likes of Early Wilco, Uncle Tupelo, Sturgill Simpson, and you know, some other stuff like that. This particular episode, I have a batch of albums that aren't quite country, so to say, but they do have some country-ish elements to them, and I am going to show them off to you. So the first thing I have is another album by the Caroline Bynes, or the Caroline Bynes. I still don't know how to fucking pronounce this band's name. After hearing the album Houston that I talked about in my experimental vlog, I was inspired to pick this one up because this was the only other album by the band that was available at Amoeba. I wanted to hear a little bit more. I actually listened to this a little bit on iTunes and found that there's some songs on here that take on a weird little country vibe. And you can even tell by the titles of some of these, like Saddle Up, My Pony, and what was the other one on here? Um, there was another one. There was, a, there was one more song, I think it's early, I can't even remember. <laughs> it was earlier on in the album that had this kind of twang to it, uh, but still very experimental as these guys are. Oh my god, my girlfriend is messaging me, sorry. Ellen, please! Juke on silent. <clears throat> Super interesting band. I want to say that this is one of their more later releases when they're on Cranky, which I've talked about quite a bit. Love that label to death. Everything they put out is incredible. I'm really excited to invest more time into these guys. If more stuff shows up at Amoeba eventually, then I'll probably get it. But until then, I'll be enjoying this one. You got no place to fall. In this, whole wide world. this next one, this is actually a, a pretty well-known figure in the folk realm, but this is an album by uh, Bonnie Prince Billy, and actually it's a collaboration with him and Matt Sweeney. Matt Sweeney was in a band, I believe it was Wands with a Z, which Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins put together, and then he was also in a band called Chavez, which was pretty renowned in the post-hardcore era of the 90s. These two guys collaborated together. Bonnie has quite a bit of stuff. I should say Will Odom is his name, but he has quite a bit of music. He was in the Palace Brothers, he went under his name Will, and then he's done stuff under the name Bonnie Prince Billy. I've always heard the name, I've just never known where to start with his material because he's got so much stuff. So when I was browsing his section at Amoeba, I came across this album, and I have a Chavez album, well I should say it's a compilation album of all their stuff, so I'm familiar with Matt Sweeney, and I like their stuff, and so when I saw that he collaborated with Bonnie Prince, I thought this must be pretty cool. I held off on it for quite some time because I just, you know, like I said, I just wanted to figure out which album to get before I jumped into something. and. Finally, I was just like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna get it, and what I've heard, I've really liked. I was anticipating something a little heavier because of Matt Sweeney's past work. It's still very folky and still really mellow stuff. I believe that's Bonnie's style, he's very folky in his material. But I really like this, and I'm really glad I actually invested to get this. And I'm gonna listen to this one a little more closer once I'm done listening to the other stuff that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So I'm a little preoccupied because this band has been the center of attention lately. This is a band called Big Thief. It's weird how this band was introduced to me. So my roommates introduced this song to a close friend of mine, a mutual friend of mine, and then she texted me and was like, you gotta check this band out. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I haven't been this excited about music since I first discovered Lou Reed. You, you just gotta listen to this. That caught my attention because she's so obsessed with Lou Reed and she usually gets obsessed with single songs as opposed to full albums, but this one she was over the moon about and so I downloaded it and really dug it. They're interesting because they're not 
country per se, but they talk about country themed things, if that makes sense, like drinking whiskey and being out in wide ranges and all that stuff. But their music is very alternative and little hints of folk here and there, but for the most part, they're just an alternative rock band. They've got some great lyrics on here. I think so far my favorite song is Velvet Ring, although Paul is another great song, and then even the opening track, Little Arrow, is super good. This one is so good, and they, let's see, they came out, where's the date? 2016, so this is a fairly recent band, and I think this is their only album at the moment. Whatever they put out in the future, I'm totally checking out, because this band is great. I'll be This is a band called Widow's Peak. It's not every day that a song comes on at work that I'm like, oh wow, what is this? I, I gotta look into this. And of course that happened, and uh, it was a song by this band, Widow's Peak. Initially it sounded very dream poppy, slightly shoegaze, though at least the song I heard at work. So when I looked into this album, I was treated to some southerny sounding rock that was still very dreamy and once again a little shoegazy and this one kind of fit with the atmosphere of Big Thief and it was kind of interesting how this album came to me roughly around the same time as Big Thief because these two guys are so similar. So needless to say I was excited and I got this album because it was super good. I listened to it back to back after listening to Big Thief back to back and I had to own it so here we have it. Widow's Peak. This is their very first album. It's self-titled. It's really good. This last album is... Well, I've talked about both of these guys in previous vlogs, and they've come together to create one album. Uh, this is a collaboration between Lauren Connors and Jim O'Rourke. I've talked a lot about Jim's work. I talked about it in an experimental vlog, I talked about it in a sleepy vlog, and then I talked about it in the vlog when I, I think I was the one when I first moved here. It was either that one or the one where I was just kind of getting accustomed to living here. But anyways, I've talked a lot about Jim's work. I talked about Lauren Connors in the experimental vlog with the Harmony of the Spheres compilation. He has some work on there. So these two guys sat down together and they, basically what it sounds like is they are in a echoey kind of room and they just hit record and they just started riffing around playing guitar. And what we have are four songs that are roughly between the times of five and 20 minute songs. People categorize this as jazz uh, and free improv, which it is improvisation. I don't really know if I would call it jazz per se. It's definitely its own thing. But why I included this in the Slightly Country vlog is inside this CD, there's some information about the recording of this. It ends with saying, if John Cage had ever composed any country music, this is what it would sound like. It's really, good music. It's so good. I mean, there's not much structure to it. Once again, it is improv, so it's just two dudes playing guitar. The sound and where it was recorded, and it just is interesting to me. It's good stuff, I think, to put on in the background because it's just so mellow and emotional. I just love the guitar tone of it. I, I mean, it's just, it's a great album. It's totally worth checking out. This is their album, Are You Going to Stop in Burn? Totally worth it. Love these guys, they're both very good musicians. does it for me. I look absolutely atrocious. I need to go shower and shave my neck because my neck fur is growing in and it itches. So until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye.